Hello and welcome to Shanghai. I'm your host Bai Xuxu from Shanghai Media Group, and this is Miss Chao Jingyue from Shanghai Daily. She's、uh, a columnist who writes on Shanghai's urban history and historical buildings. She's gonna be our tour guide today. Would you like to say hi? Say hi. Hello, everyone. Nice to be with all of you.、Mm. Today is the twenty-third day of the twelfth month in the Chinese lunar calendar, which is also known as the preliminary. So we like to extend our Best wishes to all of our foreign and Chinese media friends. We wish you a happy and healthy New Year. Okay, when talking about Shanghai, the first thing that comes to mind is most likely the Bond or Yuan Garden. When in fact the city has a great variety of architectural styles from different time periods. They not only compose a great tourism resource but also reflect the city's development. Today. We'll take you on a tour around the Hengshan Fuqing Cultural and、uh, Historic Conservation Area. We'll stroll down Wu Kang Road with Miss Xiao, who happens to be a local resident here, to examine the eclectic architecture. Hear some of the historical stories about what makes this place so special, and of course, experience the idyllic lifestyle of Shanghai. Now, our tour begins here. At this post office, which was recently restored to its former glory, it is located diagonally across、uh, the city's most popular site for taking selfies. The Wu Kang Building, formerly known as the Normandy Apartments, but we'll get to that later. First, let's check out here. It seems like. Uh, the Beijing Winter Olympic spirit is everywhere. You can see that they have so many kinds of、uh, Winter Olympic themed stamps,、uh, postcards, and envelopes. It kind of reminds people of the green, inclusive, open, and clean approach of Beijing Winter Olympics. It also draws on people's passions for the game. Okay, now let's. Walk in to this 58 square meter post office. See how the Shanghainese designers made full use of every inch of this space. Now, Xiao, you must be really familiar with this post office, right? Well, well,、uh, nowadays a few people are still mailing handwritten letters,、mm -hmm. but the green colored post office and letter boxes always give us a warm, nostalgic feeling. Absolutely. Yeah, this post office has opened here for many years, and it was renovated and、mm -hmm. reopened last autumn. I have often come here to send books and letters to my friends overseas. And last year, after I sent my new book to the grandchildren of the、uh, architect who designed the Wu Kang Building,、oh. I found that post office suddenly changed to be such a trendy new concept and still multifunctional post office. Yeah. So today here you can still pay your utility bill and send <laughs> parcels. But you can also find these attractive souvenirs related with the area. Ah,、oh, so many different kinds of souvenirs. Yes,、uh, in the theme of the post office、mm -hmm. and also the heritage buildings in the area, in the Hengshan、uh, Fuqing area. It's a little handbook, huh? Oh, it's a lovely new book、uh, about. The Wu Kang Building. About the Wu Kang Building. Yes,、yeah, offers a lot of tips and maps and uh, uh, stories behind uh, the old pictures. Normandy apartments. Yes. Normandy mm. apartments. Hmm. With all these old photos and new photos. It's a perfect tour guide. Yeah, for it's a pocket book. It's a pocket book. More about the Wu Kang Building. Yeah.、Uh, Here we we have oh, oh yeah, postcards. Yeah, it's a, it's a very popular Beijing, postcards. Uh, seemed in in the shape of the Wu Kang building. Wu Kang、so、building. Maybe why not we send them to the Beijing Winter Olympics? Why not? Yes, why not? you you choose one. You,、uh, maybe this one. Yes, this、Better. one is perfect. Okay, so you can. Let's send you a postcard. You use you write something. <laughs> I write something. Mm -hmm. What should I write?、Yeah. Uh, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Okay. Beijing Olympic
games. Okay, Ali. Okay, we're gonna send it to you. I don't know who's gonna get it, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, I'll give it to the staff. Please admit it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, this wow. this is really a lovely little yeah. post office. Oh, it's it's very popular. Yeah, let's that's move to the designed. other side of this mm -hmm. uh, post office mm -hmm. and see what else we can find. Mm -hmm. Now, you can see here is a little coffee shop in a post office. It's really true that you can find coffee shops everywhere in Shanghai. Oh, thank oh, you. Thank you. Oh, thank actually, you. this is the first uh, post office in Shanghai to sell mm -hmm. coffee. Um, a first? Yeah, the first shop. coffee shop in, in a post, post office, office in oh. Shanghai. And you know, Shanghai is really a city of coffee. Our city has uh, nearly uh, 7,000 coffee shops. You can 7, find one, yes, shops. you can find one almost on every road. Every corner. <laughs> <laughs> also, in Shanghai, you always find things combining east and west. Mm -hmm. This coffee shop is owned by a traditional Chinese pastry shop named Qiao Jia Shan. It's really well known in Shanghai. Yeah, so maybe we try the traditional Chinese bean cake. Bean cake. To go with our latte. Okay. Traditional bean cake. Would you want to try this match? Uh, oh, absolutely. Match? Okay. This is my favorite. Yeah, it's um, very sweet. Okay. And uh, mm. how about we go with the latte? It goes perfectly mm. with the latte. Mm. I think they make a really good set for an afternoon tea set. Yes. You Our, know. On a mm. warmer afternoon, mm. it's going to be better. Mm. Right? I also know that uh, the number of coffee shops per thousand people in Shanghai is similar to those in Tokyo, London, mm. and New York. Mm. And I think the the way they package these sets are really cute. People are loving it. So I think East meet West is the flavor of Shanghai. Mm. Wonderful Shanghai flavor. No. Mm. So shall we move on? Absolutely. Mm. Now let's go to uh, what we call the source point square mm -hmm. of the Wukong building. Mm -hmm. Actually, is the best spot mm -hmm. uh, for taking photos and snapshots of the building or the entire area. Mm -hmm. It's not really uh, crowded today because it's a work day, mm -hmm. but during the weekend, there are tons and tons of people coming here to take photos of this beautiful building. You can see there are some students making sketches of mm. the building. They're going to be here all day. They're drawing all the architectural details of the building. Oh. Yeah, you can see from a teacher. This building really oh. holds a special mm. place in people's hearts here. Mm. There, you see those girls are taking selfies with uh, Wukong building shaped ice cream. Let, let's take a look at this ice cream. It's mm -hmm. so cute. Mm. You know, the Wukong building was built in 1924 and it's nearly 100 years old. 100 years old? 100 years old. Wow. But, you know, we're only just recently able to get a clear view of this building or this entire uh, area thanks to an intensive uh, renovation project. Mm. Here I've got a picture mm. of what it used to look like before the renovation project. You can see all the overhead cables and poles along the road. It really makes it difficult for people to see it uh, really well. But performing such a big renovation project in such a busy section of the city. It's like performing a live open heart surgery. It's delicate work. It took more than a year, but since uh, early 2019, mm -hmm. now people can get an unobstructed view of this beautiful building, right? Yeah, well, and I also like this square very much. Mm -hmm. The square, right. The square, yes, yeah, so we are standing. 
I remember in the past, the sidewalk here is only two meters wide. Oh. So after the renovation of the Wukong building, people rush here to take a photo with the building. Mm. But that posted a potential danger oh. at such a busy right. traffic crossing. Right. So the local government, they expanded the sidewalk to make the whole site to be 500 square meters. 500 square meters. Well, and uh, since then, people can safely, like us, stand mm -hmm. here to appreciate the beauty of Wukong building. Yes, I think the uh, people-friendly design really makes this the best spot to appreciate the building in all mm -hmm. its majesty. For example, let's take a look at these uh, specially designed manhole covers. Here's one. Okay. This is a very special <laughs> manhole cover. Let's take a look. Okay. Uh, let me tell you one more story during the design process. Mm -hmm. In the original design, uh, the sidewalk here would cut through this manhole cover. Oh, they're going to cut through it? Mm, to preserve it, the designer has uh, expanded the sidewalk for another 10 centimeters oh. to make room for it. So that showed extreme attention to detail has been made during the historical conservation work in Shanghai. Mm. I think this is a great example yes. of Shanghai's attention to details. Let me show you another one. Okay. Come over here. Let's check out these metal arrows that indicate some of the other historical sites in the area. It shows the distance to some of the other uh, historical sites in the area. They stretch out in different directions. And if you look really closely, you can see the tiles are cut with the curves so that they fit the lines naturally. It shows not only high level, a high standard of techniques, but also uh, what you just said, uh, the city's attention to details when it comes to so-called uh, urban microsurgeries. All right. Well, yes. Why don't we across the street? Okay. Take another look <laughs> from another angle okay, you of see, this beautiful building. Huh? Yeah. Well, the Wukong building uh, is a signature work of architect Laszlo Hudak during his early stage. Mm -hmm. And you see, uh, it looks like a huge warship or yeah. flat iron. <laughs> Fine iron. <laughs> flat iron, yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, its powerful visual effect is actually due to its location, mm -hmm. which is on a triangle lot at an intersection of five streets. Five streets? Five I'm, streets. And count them. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah. five streets. So it, all, it provides an open view. So this is an eight-story building. It's eight home story. to Shanghai's first gallery apartments. Oh. So architect Laszlo Hudak has designed nearly 100 buildings in Shanghai. 100 buildings in yes. Shanghai. I know she, uh, he's a very fam famous uh, architect. Yes. I think uh, uh, Wukong building is one of his masterpieces. Uh, masterpieces and also early work and he later also designed the Park Hotel, Grand Theater so in the People's Square of Shanghai uh -huh. and uh, now we have a, a, a better uh, better location to appreciate the beauty mm -hmm. of Wukong Road it is designed in a French Renaissance style uh -huh. you see the facade is very elegant very classic mm -hmm. and it's divided into three sections mm -hmm. the ground two floors uh, the base are covered by artificial stones, mm -hmm. which correspond with the top part. And the middle part are greased by red bricks. And if you look up, you will see the cantilevered balconies and the parapets form the eaves. Mm. So it's not only beautiful, but also quite functional. Quite functional. Yeah, it offers single room to a suit that can house a family. House a family. I so, know a lot, that, ah. so a lot of foreigners chose to live here. I know that uh, after 1949, famous mm. uh, movie actors Zhao Dan and Qin Yi also chose to live in this building, right? Yes, actually the neighborhood of Wukong Road was very quiet and suitable for residents. So many renowned figures also chose to live here. Uh, mm. The former residents for Song Qingling 
It's just across the road behind that building.、Mm. So she was the honorary、uh, president of the People's Republic of China.、Mm. And if you walk、mm. down the Wu Kang Road, you will find the former residence for Ba Jing, one of China's greatest writers.、Mm. This is truly where all the celebrities gathered back in the days. I think it all thanks to、uh, the preservation of the city, because there's always some kind of protection work going on for buildings like、uh, Wu Kang Building in Shanghai. They've divided the work into three different categories:、uh, spots, lines, and areas.、Uh, the spots are 3,449. Unmovable cultural heritage and 1,058、uh, historic buildings. The lines are 144 <laughs> streets and lanes that are under conservation, and 44 areas, the cultural heritage and historic areas、uh, that are under conservation as well. They are open to the public. Right. <clears throat> also, if you want to know more. About these、uh, different types of buildings, you can see the signs on the walls、uh, of these cultural heritage and outstanding historic buildings. They have these, they have these QR codes. Okay. That will <laughs> provide you all the information about them you want to know. They come in both in Chinese and English with audio. There are nearly three thousand buildings that come with these QR codes. Let me scan them for you. See, you just open your WeChat and scan the QR code, and you will see a page with the background stories, the history, and everything about this building. And sometimes bilingual. They will have bilingual yes, yes. introductions about the buildings. Now we're. Walking along this 1,100 meter long Wu Kang Road, the trees in the spring are green and fall, providing shade in summer.、Uh, it tur- and turn to a beautiful blend of gold and fiery red in the fall. So I think the old buildings under the changing color of trees make these trees a really beautiful and special place. Well, I love the trees on Wu Kang Road.、Mm-hmm. Uh, the road is not long, but it has more than 250 trees, and it's quite interesting that the trees on Wu Kang Road are just like Shanghai.、Mm-hmm. It has both local species、uh, named Fengyang, Fengyang, and also imported ones、uh, called London Plain. Oh, London Plain.、Hmm. Now these、uh, these are. London Plain. London Plain.、Uh, yeah. Those are Fengyang. Fengyang. Ah.、Uh. <clears throat> okay, so we are going to check out the number three hundred and ninety, the White Villa recently opened to the public. Oh.、Uh, and it's very popular. Let's check it out. Do you want to see it? Oh, oh absolutely.、Mm-hmm. Let's go and check it out.、Mm. This White Villa. Yes, it's a. Uh, you see, it's a Mediterranean architecture,、mm-hmm. which is still rare in Shanghai. The three sides of the building are encircled by an artful colonnade.、Mm. I especially like a contrasting before between the snow white walls and the red tile roof,、mm. and all these details. The facade is graced by a lovely balcony and also dormer window.、Mm. I've done my research, my homework,、okay. as well.、Uh-huh. I know that、uh, this villa、uh-huh. represents three different、uh, features of Mediterranean style.、Uh-huh. The first is the long colonnade that st- stretches out to、uh-huh. the end and makes a 90-degree turn.、Uh-huh. The second is these high arches that connect to each other,、uh, and last. You can see the, the hollow carved wall through which you can enjoy more views.、Mm. So this whole villa looks like a huge fan,、mm. and have seven arches in the front. It's quite unusual in in Shanghai. Yes,、right? it's very rare.、Mm-hmm. But there are still 
But Shanghai is a kind of、uh, you can find most of、uh, most architectural styles in the world in Shanghai. So our city is often nicknamed the Expo Hub of World Architecture. And also, this building has some history with China's automobile history. In in nineteen、uh, the Santana, do you know the Santana? Oh, everyone knows Santana. <laughs> yeah, the Santana was born in Shang here in Shanghai、mm. in nineteen eighty three, and、uh, you you don't see many Santanas anymore on the streets.、No. But it used to be everywhere. And、uh, you see, it's the first Santana. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's the first Santana.、Uh, and oh, the locally、photo. built.、Uh-huh. Out of the assembly line. Yeah, it's、uh, manufactured in China. Wow,、mm-hmm. I didn't know that,、you、but I know. do know that Shanghai is developing its electric vehicle industry. The plan is to produce 1.2 million electric vehicles per year by 2025.、Mm-hmm. The total value will exceed 350 billion yuan. And will be more than 35 percent of Shanghai's total automobile manufacturing value. Now let's back to the beautiful buildings. Okay, so、uh, this white villa is number 395 Wu Kang Road.、Mm-hmm. The both white villas、mm-hmm. they were built early last century. But this one is in a totally different style. Yes. You see the long curved balcony, are、uh, the oval shaped、uh, dormer window with rich carvings、mm-hmm. and all Tuscan orders and all the keystones, arches, very baroque. Yeah. So all these exquisite ornaments are very impressive. So the Mediterranean house and the baroque villa,、mm. which one do you prefer? Actually, I prefer the Mediterranean <laughs> villa, but. Both of the、uh, buildings are really impressive. Yes. Well,、I'm、this white vi- villa w- has been used by the Shanghai Film Actors Troupe for decades.、Ah. Shanghai was the cradle of Chinese film industry, so、yeah. a lot of famous artists uh, like Zhao, uh, like uh, Sun Daoling and Bai Yang, they have all worked here. Oh, they all worked here. So, so this building is a witness of a golden era of Shanghai film industry. Wow. Okay, so we so, move on. So <laughs> actors, actresses,、mm-hmm. uh, celebrities—they all loved or used to live and work、uh, along the Wukong Road. Well, yes. Okay, so this one is the number three hundred and ninety-three Wukong Road.、Mm-hmm. The building was originally built in nineteen fifteen. It was a classic-style villa, but you cannot see it. It's hidden behind that green iron gate.、Mm-hmm. And there are more than twenty families still living out there. Twenty families still live there. Yes, inside,、uh, behind that green iron gate, and the grand part that we see on Wu Kang Road is added in 1930s. You see, the facade is quite simply cut, and with all these vertical lines, narrow windows, very Art Deco. There, I, are,、uh, there are many Art Deco buildings in Shanghai. Yeah, yes, yeah, I know.、Yeah. But I do have a question. I can see these two very distinct parts share the same number, three ninety-three,、yes. and this one is、uh, appears to be a visitor information center. Yeah. Well, back in the nineteen thirties, it was a cultural center, often hosting exhibitions and cultural activities. Before the Shanghai Expo in two thousand and ten, it was renovated. To be a tourism information center, also known as a historical building art center, so cultural activities are often hosted here as before. I have、uh, given have you le- been here? yeah, I have given lectures about Wu Kang Road for Shanghai citizens in this building. I've never been here before. Yeah, do you want to go inside and check it out? Oh,、uh, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they have some、uh, very good、uh, services to give you guidance. Okay. Uh, we're you want to check it out? The This traffic、uh, light. Yeah, it's a. <laughs> okay, it's an Art Deco building. Hi. Hi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Let you、uh, get your mic up. Okay. Just,、uh, Thank you. Can handle this. Could you tell us what kind of information can tourists get、yeah. in here? Yeah. Of course. So first of all, welcome to our Wukang Road Tourist Information Center and the historical old house art center. 
as a tourist information center, it is open to the public all year round, and people here can appreciate its architecture, learn the history, and get tourist information. Mm. And you can also pick up some maps oh. and look. This cute cat is our is mascot. Cat? Yes, <laughs> and this is our mascot called Fuxi Cat. Oh. It will appear in different images in all corners of Zhuhui District, and people can take a photo with it. It has a cat shape, but it looks like a tiger. <laughs> also looks like a tiger. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. So when you walk in the lobby, you will see models with different architecture styles. These uh. models were um, historical, excellent historical buildings in the Shuhui District, mm -hmm. and the people can see the full facade of the. This building by looking at those models, and mm -hmm. you can also scan the QR code to get more detailed information. Yes. For example, this is the Shanghai Arts and Crafts Museum. Oh, that's built, a museum. Yes, it was built in 1905, and uh, it looks like a castle. So many film and uh, um, television production have been filmed here. Mm. Yeah. Quite and, beautiful. Uh, yeah. So this, this is Wukong Village. We've yeah. just been there. Everybody All knows. Right. Yeah. So the tables were set up with grass. Uh, different crates and uh, crate directives, as well as books, cookies, and uh, notebooks, and uh, some like postcards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, this is our black stone apartment, which is Baroque Bark style apartment building, which was built in 1924, the same year as the Wukong building. And uh, the, front, uh, the ground floor was open to the public at the present because it was a salon. Music uh, salon, yeah. Music salon. Yeah, mu music salon. And every weekend and legal holidays, we will provide free guided tour of for our visitors because we hope people will not only get tourism information here, but also know about the history behind the old houses. In addition, we will hold different thematic exhibitions at this space. And you can see, as you can see, yeah. We recently hold a Chinese New Year themed exhibition here. And uh, about taste of Buxin, the Wukong Road, yes. We created a themed living room with spatial fragrance and content to let you feel the Chinese New Year flavor in the old house and experience the Shanghai style life. Wow. And uh, at here. Really cute. What's happening here? Yeah, look at this. Uh, they are have an um, artist to, cut, to have a paper cutting work on site. Um, it's our, another exhibition that we see, guys. This yeah. is our traditional paper cutting. Yes. This is called this character reads Fu means uh, fortune in English. So during the New Year's, people like to make these paper cutting uh, signs and put it on the windows to uh, wish the family a happy and healthy. New Year. We have a beautiful artist making these paper cutting uh, masterpieces. Yes. So it's another exhibition that we What's cooperate this? to the, the window okay. decoration. It's window tiger. decoration. Because yeah. this tiger. Yeah. we're in a year of tiger. So don't you want to put this on your window as well? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. So that exhibition that we cooperated with National in Intangible Cultural Heritage. Yeah, and intangible. Paper cutting is also one of our uh, intangible cultural heritage. Yeah, so this works on the wall of art. They are combined paper cutting with architecture. You can oh, see these it. are not paintings? This these paper are, cutting. Oh, there's a paper cutting yeah. work. It's one for right. Okay. It all comes from the hands of the artist we just saw. She made paper cutting uh, of the famous and beautiful buildings in this area along the Wukong Road. Yeah, we sincerely invite people to come here and experience the Shanghai style life. Absolutely, I think. All of our uh, viewers and audience must be really interested by now. All right, thank you. Thank you for a thorough introduction. Thank you. Thank you. you know, when you walk the streets of Shanghai, 
living in the Wukong Road uh, neighborhood is mm -hmm. actually quite pleasant. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you to another place. Another good place? place. Uh, yeah, another good place. It's called... We'll more surprises to come. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Fugensen Lane. Oh, it's also Lane. one of my favorites. And the place is designed to give busy urbanites like us mm -hmm. to slow down and enjoy a little time. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, it's, that, it's just across the road. It is? And uh, oh. it's not big. But it's well designed with all these heritage buildings of different eras and old green trees preserved. And the designer told me that she emphasized uh, uh, the, the public space, the public space, public area. And uh, so uh, today here you can have coffee, you can go to uh, chic designer shops. There's a variety of choices here so you want to check it out oh so it's not just one building oh uh, no it's one building. A, it's a compound yeah it's a right? compound uh, with, with buildings from different year rows and different styles mingled together so well well yeah and the new shops uh, so it's a mm. commercial compound that houses all kinds of uh, shops and shops and coffee and, shops and, and nice restaurants. Is this the entrance? Okay, we can, maybe we can oh. pass through it. So it's also a new oh. shop. No. <laughs> okay. Quite cozy. Yeah, it's very popular uh, among young people. Mm, delicately designed. And also this uh, flower, flower shop. shop. Flower <laughs> I often come here to buy flowers. So, Such a view. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. It's like an urban oasis. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> well said, well said. Urban oasis. So, uh, when I moved to Wukong Road more than 10 years ago, mm -hmm. the road was so, not so known, and there were few people on the road. But nowadays, Wukong Road has become so popular, especially among young people. You know, I, I never known this place. <laughs> you know, so there's so much for people to discover in Shanghai mm -hmm. because things are happening every day. Mm -hmm. uh, buildings and compounds like this are emerging uh, practically everywhere. And mm. people have more and more choices. And the, the format of this commercial compound is really uh, appropriate for local residents or tourists or consumers. Yes, this is also the place I often come here to read and write and meet my friends. And I see a lot of foreigners. They love to come to here to have parties and gatherings. Mm -hmm. Oh, so shall we have some coffee and snacks? Yeah, we can take a rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this where you often come? Okay, it's called coffee. <laughs> coffee hello. shop. Yo. Okay. okay. Yeah. Hello. hello. Okay. Shall we so sit? we Shall take here? a seat. Oh. Oh. Nice. Ah, oh, finally. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, can we have some coffee? Can we get some two cups coffee? of coffee? Coffee. You want a menu? I give you a menu. Uh, two, uh, two, 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 just two lattes. Two lattes. Yes. 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 Okay. I can see that you can uh, spend a wonderful afternoon yeah. here if it was sunny and maybe a little warmer. Yes. So this. Uh, uh, so can you believe that we are in a former industrial building? The whole oh, really? yeah, this building is uh, renovated from an industrial building from 1970s. Oh, 1970s. Yeah, and also other buildings are from the 1920s, 30s. So buildings of different euros are convert renovated to be uh, to for modern day use. Mm -hmm. So in Shanghai, there are a lot of uh, cases to achieve a balance between historical preservation mm -hmm. and its new functions. So sure. this this. A uh, coffee shop is also quite popular among uh, Chinese people, local residents like me, mm. and also foreign friends. Mm. Okay. Now we've said <laughs> enough. Let's see uh, if the 
media friends in Beijing have some questions for us. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me okay. check it out. Um, questions. Let's see. Let me find them. Okay. The first question is from our friends from Japan, NHK. He said. Uh, you mentioned that mm -hmm. you moved here about 10 years ago. It mm -hmm. wasn't so well known back then. Mm -hmm. What makes it so famous and popular right now? Wow, uh, it's a very good question. I think um, Wukang Road, historically and culturally, it has a very good foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, and it luckily, it underwent two runs of big scale urban regenerations during the past two, 20, uh, two decades. Uh, the first one was before the Shanghai Expo in 2010, and the other was before the China International Import Expo in 2018. So also there were micro uh, regenerations or so urban renewal going on to adapt to the needs of local people. And uh, during the process, the government and the experts, architects, they made the plans and they were joined by local residents and enterprises. Mm -hmm. And the people are working together to create an ideal place near the Wukang Road to be an a, a ideal place for uh, live and work and to make the residents and the visitors to enjoy a better city life. Mm. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Here's a, mm. another, question another question from okay. uh, reporters uh -huh. from Russia, from uh -huh. Ita Taz, uh -huh. uh, who asks, uh, Ms. Chow, if a uh, foreign tourist only has two or three days uh -huh. in Shanghai, the city has a great number of preserved mm. heritage and historic buildings, what other places do you recommend they go? Well, uh, the first uh, place came to it's my very mind hard is question. <laughs> so many choices. So many choices. Uh, but the first uh, uh, spot came to my mind must be our bond. So the bond is a little bit more than one kilometer long. It's at our, the waterfront of Shanghai, but it's a huge gallery of uh, architectures in different styles, ranging from the neoclassic. Gothic revival to the more modern Art Deco styles, mm -hmm. so it's a uh, it's really it's a congregation of the Shanghai's best heritage buildings out there, and also if you look across the Huangpu River, you will see our financial zone, the Lu Jia Zui, mm -hmm. and uh, it's another story. The, it's a, a, a congregation of more modern buildings, the skyscrapers like Oriental TV per Shanghai Center. World Financial Center and the recently built uh, uh, Art Museum of Pudong. I would also recommend to the west part of Shanghai, a place um, very close to Wukang Road. It's called the Columbia Circle. It's an area uh, built uh, with historical buildings built early last century, but it was converted to be a new hub of uh, uh, lifestyle and uh, business. So it's uh, also very popular. And uh, finally, I would uh, suggest that you might work along the, explore the, uh, and work along the Huangpu River, and you will find great museums and art centers uh, in the Xihui district, <clears throat> in the south end of the river, uh, south end of the town, and also in the Yangpu district uh, in the north. So there are, so Shanghai gives you a lot of choices, a variety of choices, east and west, old and new city and river. So maybe more than two to three days. Mm. <clears throat> I think the, mm. uh, for mm. you, mm -hmm. the answer to this question can mm. go on for hours. You have too much to tell them. Yeah, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Today we introduced uh. the uh, oh. Kang Road mm. in Shanghai to all of you. It's a place that incorporates historical beauty mm. and modern comforts. We wish your work at the Beijing Winter Olympics successful, and we welcome all the athletes and friends to visit us here sometime, we can take a <laughs> stroll through the city of Shanghai together in the future. Mm. That's it. 
for now, and we'll see you. Bye bye. Welcome to Shanghai. Welcome to Shanghai. And、uh, bye for now.